Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. I remain Chad Fury CC3, your host. This remains Natalie the Zadon, and this is a match between Rar and Adam 2 on Alien Desert. And not really much more to say about that. We know Rar, Commander, Commander. Adam 2, I'm not quite as familiar with. Going for shields in this instance, not going for light vehicles, that is, I would expect. Alien Desert, it's a bit small. It's not like in Kulta, which it's based off of, but it's still not that small. But I guess, I mean, it's small enough. Shields can work effectively enough. Light vehicles, however, are the factory that I would go for personally, just because that's it's a flat map. Like, it, it's flat. So that's what you do. You do that in flat maps. Let's see, Arar going pretty economical at first. While Adam 2, on the other hand, going for a couple of scouting units, a couple of bandits around just to see what's going on. See what's happening. And early leveler from RAR. This is bizarre, actually. I'm serious. This is weird. Normally, if you're going to go defensive, you go for slashers, not levelers. I'm not sure what the motivation there is. I guess they're planning entirely on just being anti-raider there, because that's odd. Like, that's really weird. But, yeah, that's that's exactly what Rar's done. So, like I said, Adam going for a bit more of a typical setup, although very quickly going for the Thug build. Interesting. I guess they figure, well, there's no Raiders coming in, so Adam, too, is probably just going to expand willy-nilly, because what do they have to worry about at this point? I mean, really, what what is there? There's There are some slashers. Okay, they're slashers, but yeah, it's defensive. Rar is clearly going defensive. They're obviously upgrading their commander, but they're clearly going defensive, so they might as well, rather, Adam might as well go for thugs and expand around the map as quickly as possible. Right now, already four convicts up, three in the main base and one under production. So yeah, there's there's a lot of room here for additional production. That That's basically what's happening. Adam 2 is just expanding like mad. Which is going to be a problem for RAR, because RAR is not stopping them, nor are they expanding very quickly. I mean, they had the level around in case bandits come in and try to stop it. And the slash will help eventually, but that's still kind of weird. Like, RAR is... They're going to have to basically build up the commander as quickly as possible and then push very hard through the center. And Adam 2 is going to have expanded across the map very effectively by that point. Like, this worker over here is going to go down to the south, and then there's another one over here in the center, and then another one to the north that's going all the way around in the north. I mean, Adam 2 is going to have 40 metal easily by the time Rara starts pushing out their commander hard. And they're starting to push out the commander a little bit. But when they're actually going, okay, I'm going to win the game with this. At this point, Adam 2 is expanding probably too quickly to easily be dealt with. I mean, Rara is expanding. They have, some, they have some defenses with the slashers around their commander. And their commander as well is going for machine gun. Machine gun and extra HP. Note the Vanguard economy pack. That's just basically what gives commanders economy. Because only the starting commander gets the extra plus 4 metal and plus 6 energy. Any commanders built through the Strider hub do not. They do not have that module. That is a non-buildable module. And this is where the slashes will come in very handy. They are quite effective against raiders. Just It's hard for raiders to push in. If you have enough, if you have enough raiders, yeah, you can push it in, but... It's still with high attrition to do so. And on top of that, the machine gun's going to be a pain in the butt. So right now, RAR is not really easily harassed. But Adam 2, on the other hand, like I said, going for Thug. Like, Thug Outlaw. They don't care about raiding right now. They know they don't have to. They know they can just expand like mad. Adam 2 knows what's up. Like, RAR's left the map open, and Adam 2's taken full advantage of that. Not totally carelessly, as you can see. There are defenses being built up around the map. But still, Adam 2 is taking advantage of the situation. They know what's happening. But it's... It's still going to be tricky. Like, RAR... RAR right now, they are pushing a pretty hard slasher army. And Thug Outlaw, that can help a bit, but slashers do have range. They have, like... Okay, 600 range. The Thugs, on the other hand... Yeah, 208, so half the range, and I believe, are, well, they're obviously slower. 
I mean, you can see there's, well, 84 elements per second for the slasher, well, 57 for the thug. But, of course, the thug shield just takes most of it. So thugs can kind of go in with very little attrition. And Rar's commander up front with more... Okay, auto repair and more HP. But still taking a lot of damage. I mean, there are more and more thugs coming in. Adam 2 does have a four thugs coming in, and outlaws on top of that being built up very rapidly. And they're not pushing the factory all that much. They are trying to build up, make sure they have enough power. Very careful about that, but honestly, there isn't much threat. When you consider just how spread out Adam 2 is, consider that they have an economy pretty much everywhere on the map. They do have to be careful about their commander, though. Their commander is still fairly important. If they lose their commander, then this entire section right here is basically gone. The north side, there's still some defenses that can be built up, but the slashers will push through the lotuses without too much issue. At this point, Adam 2 is going to want to start massively building up an army. And that's what they're doing. Just really power an army up. Maybe get a few of these convicts to build up power plants, but otherwise, just get that army going. Adam 2, your commander is getting heavily damaged. Get out of there! Holy crap, that is not working out well at all. And they're just going for it. I and mean, Adam 2 just going for it with a thug law here. This is a bit desperate. I actually, I'm, a, I'm surprised. I thought that Rar would have less time or would give more time rather. I thought Adam 2 would be able to actually build up. But apparently Adam 2 just decided to go more for economy. They hadn't quite built up their army. Now they're getting their army going, really powering that. They still need more energy, but they are at least powering their army out. So it's not completely hopeless. However, that thug ball is almost gone. The southeast is getting fairly threatened. The commander has been forced to retreat, and thugs look like they're flanking from the southeast, trying to regroup along the southeast and then flank from the south. Rar might just decide to go for the main attack, though. Adam 2 has to be careful if... And Rogue's coming as well. Not a bad idea, but Adam 2 has to be careful. If they if they attack from the back, that could work. That could be very powerful. That could also... Oh, no, not going to. Okay. Because if they're going to attack from the back, that could just force Rar to decide, you know what? I'm going. Most of Rar's firepower is right here. This commander right here... With machine guns, disruptor bombs, and extra speed and HP, that is their damage. That is their main army right there. The rest of the slashers are just support. Rar does not really care about that much. And thugs up, thug rogue up, trying to get rid of this and not doing a terrible job. They're actually going to be able to push back the slasher somewhat. Unfortunately, the thugs did lose a lot of their shields. Good disruptor bomb. Slow down all the workers, although... Actually, oh, okay, it was an okay to start bomb. Did not slow down the thugs, though. The thugs are still dealing for a minute of damage. Only five, four slashes left, four left. Rar's commander is still a threat. Still a major threat. That is still the biggest problem. Is that a commander up the front? But the slashes are getting torn to shreds. I mean, they're, they are being built up one every few seconds. But they're being torn down quite quickly as well. And on top of that... Well, Rackets are coming up for extra assistance to deal with R Rar's commander. Makes sense. Actually, Rar again pushing this in. Now, at this point, Adam 2 getting up the defenses to make sure the Northwest is at least somewhat safe. And Rar's taking that as well. This is not... This would be dead if it weren't for the fact that Adam 2 is so focused on their main base and they're kind of playing defense. At least they have a healthy economy to play defense from. Adam 2's economy is still stronger than Rar's. They can still go for the South... This worker could still reclaim if it wants to. It's actually... What? I... Okay, there we go. 470 metal of reclaim. Yeah, there's a fair amount of reclaim there. And Rar's commander just about disabled. How? 71%? And... 88%? One more shot should do the trick. There we go. Finally disabling Rar's commander. As long as they can keep locked down, that will help a lot. Like if Rar's commander remains locked down, that should give Adam 2 the breathing room needed to get out of this situation. Fortunately, did not quite get locked down enough, so a bit of slowdown. Why are these Rackagers not going for the commander? They've got to target that commander directly. Like, that is the only valid target here. The Slashers can be dealt with. The Thugs can deal with the Slashers. Rar's commander is the thing needing to be dealt with directly. Actually, no. Rar's commander needs to be disarmed. The Slashers need to be killed. And then Rar's commander needs to be killed. I'd actually kind of recommend a bunch of bandits at this point. Like, the thugs are great for getting rid of the slashers, not so much for getting rid of the commander. The commander has a lot of health. The slashers are tearing apart the thugs. The thugs need to target the, the slashers, get rid of them, then deal with Rar's commander. Defender's doing a fine job, though. What's the defender range again? 
610. Okay, so it's a little bit more than Slasher's range. But unfortunately, these thugs are taking a while to build up. They're 180 metal each, which means they should take only about six seconds. But still, that adds up. Like, we're not killing as efficiently as possible. That does add up. But now the Slashers, now they're thinning out. The Slasher line's thinning out. Adam 2's commander could actually start reclaiming a bunch of this stuff. There's a lot of reclaim here, too. Oh, yeah, easily a thousand metal of reclaim. That's really easy to get. And Rar being forced back. Giving Adam to the room they needed to breathe, and now getting their builder over here, getting their convict to take the southwest. Or, sorry, the south center. Taking the southwest would involve destroying Rar, but taking the south center is perfectly valid. And there are the bandits. That's what I was talking about. Get those bandits up and just DPS out the commander's armor. These guys. 95 DPS, that's not nothing. So the commander right now, double auto repair, radar jammer, lots of speed, lots of HP, can't do anything except run and, well, die. Because, frankly, the commander's gone. Like, Adam 2 has enough anti-heavy to deal with the commander, and that's down. So Rar, without their commander, are they going to throw in the towel? I think they might. I mean... At this point, Adam 2 can just tear apart everything. There's like, what? Okay. There's a dozen slashers, roughly. I just realized I don't want the selection widget there, but whatever. There are about a dozen slashers, and that's... Yeah, that's that. That's it. Like, that's... Adam 2 is a bit more being constructed. Sorry, Rower is a bit more being constructed. Adam 2, are they going to build anything more? I mean, they're going for a bunch of fusion plants, getting a bunch of power, and reclaiming everything they can, but not with enough build power into the factory at this point. It's almost like they're reclaiming for the sake of denial, but at this point I don't think Rar can really come back. At least not without going for something really... not not without tricks. But not enough to hit that point and reclaim it before the game's over. If Rar comes back, they'd be tearing everything down before they'd be reclaiming it, most likely. Yeah, Rar at this point... Switching over, partly to Ravagers, adding Ravagers in. But still with the Slashers, like I said, the Thugs can kind of power through that. They're not really all that concerned. The Shields just deal with it. And then, of course, the Racketeers help for additional support. But yeah, the Thugs just kind of don't care. They just power through. So yeah, Adam 2 pushing back. Like, Rars... That's the thing about Rars Commander Heavy Strategy, is that if it fails... You've lost. A, you've basically lost a Strider. Like you've been p spending the entire game building up a Strider class unit, and you've just lost them. And at this point, it's yeah, it's basically it. Especially since shields have the Racketeers, that works especially well for getting rid of the commander. But overall, it's just once you lose that unit, you've lost most of your momentum. Unless you had a backup strategy where you're kind of planning on it, and RAR kind of didn't. They were basically trying to push as hard as they could and hope to win with the commander, and they got close. It's just those Racketeers did the trick. And they didn't have anything like Slashers or Scorchers or anything to go around and deal with the Racketeers. All they had were the Slashers. That's all they had. Now the Leveler's helping out. Enough Slashers have been built, but that's a lot of Slashers. 20 Slashers is... I don't even know. Like, dealing with that, that's tricky. But why does Adam care? Adam has enough... They can just build whatever they want, really. Getting a Strider Hub as well... Does he have any Striders at this point? Doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like they have any Striders built up yet. They are getting a Dante right now. That's what they need. Get that Dante built up. Everything else should follow soon after, and that will probably do it for the game. I mean, we'll see in a minute, but I think that's probably going to be it. Felons trying to help, but honestly, the felons are a little bit of a detriment. They help against slashers, though. They're pretty good against slashers. They're not useful against ravagers. Ravagers have way too much health. It just drains the entire shield. The entire shield wall gets drained down. Though a couple aspices wouldn't be out of place either. Doesn't look like that's happening, though. Nope, just felon thug. Pure felon thug. Oh, never mind. Some bandits. Some bandits. Okay. We got some bandits. Extra little bit of harassment. And defense. 
But yeah, main thing is just once this felon thug ball comes in, I mean, that's a lot of... You can't even see the units for all the shields there. That should be enough to deal with basically everything. The Ravagers will still be a problem, but the Slashers won't. Wow, the Slashers not ever ever not be a problem. Like, that's... That's kind of it. The, the only issue is the Ravagers. Make sure the Ravagers don't get hit. And nice, ra nice racketeering there. Show them who's boss. Show, show them where their money goes. Got a good racket. That's the thing, forcing those slashes back. And that'll probably do it. I'm like, Rar's still going strong. They're still doing it. I'm also surprised they haven't built a Strider hub to try to build another commander. Because yeah, like I said, Striders. Can, oh, I can't actually show that. Well. Okay, I'm not going to bother right now. But yeah, Striders can actually build commanders. We probably won't see that very often, but they can. But I don't know. I don't think Rar is going to do that. Doesn't look. I don't see any evidence that Rar is even planning on doing that. Going for the air switch instead. Thunderbolt, Thunderbird is what's coming. We're seeing a Thunderbird. Rar is building that because they want to get rid of the shield ball fast. Thug and Felon is not going to be dealt with through any other means besides the Thunderbird. If it can even come up in time. That's the first problem. That's the first trick. Yeah, there it is. There's that Thunderbird. Come on. There we go. There's a the Thunderbird. Once that's up, it will be a lot harder for Adam 2 to continue to apply pressure. However, it won't be that much harder because... There's a Dante coming in. And then there's just the fact that Adam 2 has three times the economy. But yeah, there's that first Thunder... Wow! Felloned out! How many felons are here? Five felons in that ball. And they took out the Thunderbird before it could hit. I didn't realize that Thunderbirds could be stopped. Thunderbirds are a very powerful unit. And yeah, if, you, if Thunderbirds don't stop, then... Shockley is about your only option, and Rar does not have a missile silo. Another Thunderbird attempt, and once again, shot down halfway through. The second Thunderbird taken out halfway through the bombing run. These felons are brutal. I mean, granted, it's in the name, but still, well, not only in the name, but you know, you kind of expect felons to be brutal as a rule. But you just sort of thought it was just a name, right? Not that they were actually criminals, but apparently they are. Or they might as well be. Because they just stole that game. Anyway, that was that. So, Rar, interesting to see how the commander strategy works, or seems to work. It was pretty good pressure, but that's still easy to come back against. This is not a commander's game. I mean, the dynamic commander thing helps, but this is not a commander's game. Not easily, at least. It requires a lot of effort, a lot of really careful support, and racketeers pretty much stuff it. Scorchers do deal with Racketeers, but the Racketeers weren't dealt with, and that pretty much stuffed it. Oh, Anakin pointing out Wolverine would have done much better. Yeah, Wolverine actually would have done a lot better, come to think of it. Oh, Wolverine at this point, although the problem is Rar didn't have the minute and a half needed, because they had 20 metal income. Wolverine's cost 2,000, that's a minute and a half to build a Wolverine. Yeah, it would have helped. It would have probably blown up most of the shield ball, because they're so clumped up. I mean, you, can, you can't even see what they are for how clumped up they are. That would have helped. However, that would have probably taken too long for what Rar had for economy. Anyway, that is that was that game. So the next game, last game tonight, is going to be between Google Frog and Snuggle Base on Bandit Plains. Looking forward to that one a lot. Should be very exciting. Might be a bit long, but it will be very exciting nonetheless because really high-level players on a great map. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a moment.